Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems, here to talk to you tonight about the FT991 by Yezu. Great HF 2 meter 440 radio, but it acts a little differently than radios that you might be used to, especially if you're coming to it out of the UHF VHF world. The big thing we're going to talk about tonight are offsets. You're accustomed to repeater operations where you have a transmit and receive frequency, you have an offset, and you have an offset direction. But this radio has one offset each for four bands. We're going to look at this first in the programmer because the programmer brings all of this out of the black box and onto the computer screen so you can actually see what's going on. I have this in remote control mode. This is settings, show remote control. And what I have here is one-to-one -one live remote control. I can make changes here and it would show up on the radio. But the big thing I have is 28 megahertz, which is a 10 meter offset. Notice there's one value here, 50 megahertz which is 6 meters, 144 megahertz, which is 2 meters, 430 megahertz, which we refer to as the 440 band in the U.S. And there's one offset per band. That's all the radio knows is one offset. And in general, that'll get the job done because in the U.S., 2 meter repeaters have a 600 kilohertz offset. 440 repeaters generally have a 5 meg offset. In the program, to keep you from having to keep up with that, and which one's which, and what did I do last, and how do I enter this, we just let you enter things, and the program takes care of doing a lot of the calculations, setting minuses and pluses, and you just enter the numbers to make it easy. We're going to look at the 440 megahertz band mainly here, because it does what I need it to do for this example. This one. 443.350, 448.350, it's 5 meg offset, it's plus. This one right here, 446.50, 441.50, it's a 5 meg offset, and it's minus. But here, I have 445.50 and 443.90, which is a 1.6 meg offset, and it's a minus. It's real easy to put it in like that. And here I've got 447.35 and 439.75, and it's a 7.6 megahertz offset, and it's a minus. Once this is programmed up and sent to the radio, this one at 5 megs and this one at 5 megs will act like repeaters. The frequency in the top part of the display will change when you key up the microphone, and it'll switch between these two frequencies. For this one and this one, you're going to see a dupe on the screen. You're going to see 445.50 in the top display, 443.90 in the bottom display. And what it's done is it set this channel up as a split rather than a minus. It works exactly the same. Transmits on the frequency at the bottom, listens on the frequency at the top, and does it automatically. You don't have to do anything special to make it happen. We take care of the magic in the background. The same thing is true for these two meter frequencies down here. We've got a 600, a 600, and a couple of 600s, and we've got a 100 here and 750 here. The 100 and the 750 will go in as split channels with dupe the others will go in as pluses and minuses appropriately and will respond differently when you key up the microphone. I'm going to show you all of this in the radio. So the next thing we're going to do is communications, send data to radio. We're going to get the radio all programmed up with this file and we'll show you how it's going to act. Okay, let's take a look at this radio now that we have it all programmed up with that file we were working with, we were talking about a minute ago. The FT70 sitting here next to it is programmed like the repeater. It's going to hear where the FT991 transmits, and it's going to transmit on the frequency where the 991 is listening. I want to show you how these channels 
are working, how they're displayed on the radio, and hopefully get you a little more comfortable with how all this works. We'll start here with memory channel number four. And you notice there's a plus on the screen. See, right here, it says plus. It says 443.350 in the top part of the display and 448.350 in the bottom part of the display. When I key up, you'll see the top display change to 448.350 and notice the FT70 going to town, hearing what is being transmitted. This is what you expect on a repeater frequency. And if I key up the FT70, goes to 443.350, and you can clearly see that the 991 is hearing it. You can see the signal there on the S meter. That's how you expect a repeater to work. It just shifts right there in place. Well, as I told you, the 991 has one offset frequency. And remember in the file that you can see there in the corner of the screen, we have other memory channels programmed in that are not on 5 meg offsets. We're going to tune up to one of those. Turn the knob up to channel 11, 447.350. We're going to turn this one to 439.750. Notice the dupe on the screen of the FT991. See it right here? It says dupe. This indicates that the radio has saved this as a split. It's not that big a deal. Yezu radios have been doing this for years. It means it has saved the receive frequency and the transmit frequency independently. 447.350 in the upper part of the display is where it's receiving. 439.750 is where it's transmitting where it's transmitting. I'm going to key up. It's transmitting and notice the FT70 is hearing it, hearing it just fine. The top frequency is not changing. It looks like you're not transmitting for a repeater, but you are. When I key up the FT70, you'll notice that it changes it becomes 447.350, and you can see that the FT991 is hearing it. So again, this is just a split. It says dupe on the screen, and it is acting like a repeater. It will hit your repeater all day long. You can put a tone in here and anything you need, and it'll hit your repeater all day long. Works the same way on two meters. Here I have memory channel 10 and you know, or 19, and you notice the dupe. It's got 146.980 in the top part of the display and 146.230 in the bottom part of the display. The FT70 is on 146.230. When I key up, the FT70 hears it just fine. When the FT70 keys up, the 991 hears it just fine. Listening on the top, transmitting on the bottom. It's a split pair for the 991. It's just how it saves it into memory. It'll get the job done on the repeaters. You'll be heard. Like I said, it just looks a little different. Enjoy your radio. You know a little more about it now. And we'll catch you on the air later. This is K0RTX.